Close your eyes for a moment and picture yourself lugging around a heavy backpack everywhere you go. You can almost feel the straps digging into your shoulders, can't you? But amidst the weight, there's something deeper inside this backpack. It holds not just objects, but memories, emotions, and scars. It's like stuffing a sardine can with all your past fears and regrets. But why do we insist on carrying these hefty emotional loads? How do they seep into the fabric of our daily lives? Brace yourselves as we're about to unpack this metaphorical load in search of some startling truths. This isn't some high-end designer backpack that makes a statement on the catwalk of Paris Fashion Week or posh showrooms of Milan, and yet it's a style unique to each one of us. Let's call it our personal trauma couture. Now if you can, picture yourself struggling up a mountain, this backpack filled with emotional rubble weighing you down, much like a mountaineer grappling with exhaustion. Now think about the possibility of lightening this load, of freeing yourself from the heaviness of the past. Intrigued? Stay with us, we're about to share the secret. So grab your favorite drink, sit back and get comfortable. We're setting off on a journey from a life weighed down by the past to a liberating existence filled with bliss. It's time to set down that backpack. So as we set down the weight of our past traumas, a new path unfolds before us, illuminated by the gentle glow of mindfulness. Have you ever heard of mindfulness? It's like a secret whispered among friends, spreading joy and transformation. But what exactly is mindfulness, and how does it work its magic? Today we'll explore the heart of mindfulness and its incredible impact on our lives. Mindfulness is a simple yet powerful concept, a kind of mental training that helps us sail through life with ease and resilience. In its purest form, mindfulness is about being fully present in the moment, wholeheartedly engaged in whatever we're doing. It's about accepting our experiences without judgment, whether they're good, bad, or somewhere in between. It's like watching our thoughts and feelings drift by, like clouds passing through the sky. Some clouds are fluffy and light, while others may be dark and stormy. But no matter their shape, they all come and go, don't they? Mindfulness teaches us to observe these clouds without trying to change them, allowing them to naturally come and go without holding on or pushing away. Now you might be curious, how exactly does this work? Well, let me break it down for you in a friendlier way. Just stick around and I'll guide you through a more approachable perspective on this. How can this help with releasing past traumas? Well, it's actually pretty simple. By practicing mindfulness, we can learn to embrace our emotions and not push them away. We start to realize that our past doesn't define us, no matter how painful it may have been. It's just a part of our story, not the whole thing. Mindfulness allows us to see things from a broader perspective and turn down the volume on our fears and worries. It's like tuning into the peaceful voices within us. And it's not just about dealing with past traumas. Mindfulness can also help us handle everyday stress with more grace and patience. It makes us more compassionate towards ourselves and others and helps us live in the present moment with more joy and fulfillment. Mindfulness is a powerful tool that guides us through life's challenges, although it's not a quick fix or a way to erase our past traumas. It does, however, offer a path to healing and lightening the burden we carry. Think of mindfulness as a key that unlocks a lighter, more peaceful version of ourselves. So, you might be wondering how to use this key, right? Well, the amazing world of mindfulness has a bunch of techniques that can help unlock the door to healing and letting go. Let's explore some of these methods together. First up, we've got meditation. Just imagine yourself in a peaceful space, eyes closed and focusing on your breath. Take a deep breath in and then let it out. You're just letting thoughts come and go without any judgment. It's a simple way to stay in the present moment and move away from past hurts. Remember, it's not about clearing your mind completely, but more about being an observer of your thoughts. Next, we have my personal favorite, journaling. Picture yourself pouring your thoughts onto paper, letting your pen glide across the page as you delve into your feelings and experiences. It's not just about writing down what happened, but also reflecting on it. How did you feel? What did you learn? Writing can be a really helpful way to acknowledge and let go of past traumas. And lastly, let's talk about deep breathing exercises. Imagine yourself in a peaceful setting, 
your chest rising and falling with each breath. You're fully focused on the rhythm of your breathing. It's a great way to calm your mind and find some inner peace. So these methods can really make a difference in your journey towards healing and release. Give them a try and see how they work for you. Remember the journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. Allow me to share with you a story of transformation. Nestled in a serene corner of a town, resided a woman named Maya. Maya was like many of us, carrying the weight of a past trauma that had left a lasting imprint on her life. She found herself stuck in a cycle of painful memories, unable to move forward. Maya's trauma was like a shadow, always following her, always there. It consumed her thoughts, her emotions and her energy, leaving little room for anything else. She felt trapped, stuck in her own mind, and yearned for a way out. And then, she stumbled upon mindfulness. It was not an overnight solution, nor was it an easy journey. But it was a path that led her towards healing. Maya began practicing mindfulness techniques, from meditation to journaling, to deep breathing exercises. Each technique was a step towards acknowledging her past trauma, and more importantly, a step towards letting it go. With each mindful breath, Maya found herself becoming more present. She learned to observe her thoughts rather than getting swept away by them. She learned to accept her emotions rather than fighting them. And most importantly, she learned to let go of her past trauma rather than letting it define her. The transformation was profound. Maya found herself feeling lighter, more at peace, and more in control of her life. She found joy in the present moment and hope for the future. She found the courage to face her past trauma and the strength to let it go. This is the power of mindfulness. This is the power of letting go. It's not about forgetting the past, but about releasing its hold on you. It's about acknowledging your pain and then choosing to move forward. It's about finding freedom in the present moment and hope for the future. Maya's story is not unique. It is the story of countless individuals who have found healing through mindfulness. It serves as a testament to the transformative power of letting go and a reminder that we all have the capacity to overcome our past traumas. And just like them, you too hold the power to transform your life. As we wind down our journey through mindfulness and the art of releasing, you might be wondering, what's the next step for me? It's a question that lingers in the hearts of many who have embarked on the path of healing. But fear not, for our exploration doesn't end here, it merely evolves. Together, let's embark on the final leg of our journey, where we'll uncover the key to integrating mindfulness into our daily lives and sustaining the transformative power of letting go. So, grab hold of hope, for the best is yet to come. So, you may wonder, what does all of this mean for you? Well, let's take a moment to reflect on our journey through mindfulness and the art of letting go. We've delved into the heavy weight of past traumas and how they can anchor us to memories that do more harm than good. We've uncovered how these burdens can stunt our growth, preventing us from blossoming into our fullest potential. We've explored mindfulness as a tool for liberation, a key to unlock the shackles of the past. We've seen how this practice, grounded in the present moment, allows us to observe our past traumas without judgment, giving us the strength to acknowledge and accept them. We've discussed various techniques for release, journaling, deep breathing, and meditation, each serving as a vessel for our journey towards healing. These practices not only help us confront our past traumas, but also enable us to let go, to set them free, and in doing so, set ourselves free. And we've witnessed the transformative power of letting go. We've shared a captivating account of someone who overcame significant past trauma through mindfulness techniques. We've seen the profound impact mindfulness can have on personal healing, a testament to the strength and resilience of the human spirit. But this is not the end of our journey. No, it's merely the beginning. The future awaits. A blank canvas ready to be painted with the colors of our experiences, our growth and our healing. Embracing the future means letting go of the past. It means taking the lessons we've learned, the strength we've gained, and using them to forge a path towards a brighter, healthier future. It means recognizing that our past traumas do not define us, but they can refine us, shaping us into stronger, more resilient individuals. Remember, every day brings a new opportunity for growth and healing. 
The future is yours to embrace with all its potential and possibilities. Your journey towards healing and transformation continues, and every step you take is a testament to your courage, strength, and resilience. So take a deep breath, let go of the past, and embrace your future. Remember, every day brings a new opportunity for growth and healing. Now, it's your turn to seize those opportunities. You've learned about the weight of past traumas, the role of mindfulness, the techniques of release, the power of letting go, and the beauty of embracing the future. It's a lot to take in, but remember, this is your journey. It's not about perfection, it's about progress, one mindful step at a time. Don't forget, mindfulness is not a quick fix. It's a lifelong practice, but it's a practice that can transform your life, releasing the hold that past traumas have on you. It's a practice that can lead to growth, healing, and ultimately, freedom. So what you've learned today. Embrace mindfulness, start small, maybe with a five minute meditation or by writing in a journal. And remember, it's okay to stumble. It's okay to fall. What matters is that you get back up again and again. As you embark on this journey of seizing opportunities, know that you are not alone. We're here cheering you on every step of the way.